Hi Leo. Oh, so the message was, okay, it's about the information. You know how there's an information, um, what do you call it? Hotline? Is it 411, right? So what's the info? What's the T? Okay. I feel like someone wants to come out with the truth. Someone wants to express. Someone wants to, like whoever you're dealing with, or if this is you, um, they're never gonna let go. Or you won't, or they won't. I feel like both of you won't. Okay. So, no one is backing down. Nobody is, this is not, um, because I, I keep uh, seeing that like, it's not the curtain call for this. This is just the, this is, this is just the start of a show. Okay. This is just how you guys are starting to see, you know, what is the real you know, stuff going on between the connection. It, it's just about to get real, okay? Like you thought you're already like, oh, you guys are seeing each other for this amount of time and blah, blah, blah. No, that's not yet the real you and this person. Hi, how are you? Let's start your reading, okay? So we're gonna get first the Intuitive Extended Plus over here. These are Zodiacs that I will read separately, okay, in the Extended Read, not connected to this. Gemini. Okay, well connected, but not in stem. Okay, if you're dealing with a Gemini, okay, Leo's dealing with a Gemini. Leo's dealing with a Leo. Ooh, I wonder how's that? Is that like a Lion King Nala kind of way? And then this one, Leo's dealing with a Scorpio. You guys have a history. Hitless. Okay, Leo's dealing with. A Virgo, okay. Get Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, Virgo. They get an additional separate read in the extended. Okay, so if you're dealing with those people. Alrighty, how are you? Not letting go, let's be cash. Okay. Not letting go of the connection or um, more of the situation, I feel. Like, I feel like both of you are learning to give in to each other now. Both of you are more um, vulnerable, but it's it's almost like someone is just getting ready and prepared to dress up and open up and because they knew already what, what they were lacking. Someone realized, it's just like, oh, so this is what I was uh, missing or, you know, it's like, I, what, I, you know, I was failing at this side, okay, of the connection. Um, someone here um, is, feels like, you know, it's like, they want to engage in a conversation and they want to do it fast. They want it now. Like, I want to talk to you now. Like, we need to talk. This is this person. Because again, okay, like we, okay, page of ones. We just a conversation card. True. Total message of, I want you, I need you, I'm attracted to you, I want to get to know you. Um... The page just are, they're learning cards because they're supposed to go to a king at some point. So, in essence, the energy between the two of you, like you guys are just learning how to interact with each other. It can even be just learning how to communicate because this, uh, this is a messenger. So expect a message. Okay. That's good. Okay. So there's a message coming. Very casual. They're very cash, Leo. Let me see. Now this message, I feel like it's about to put a period. It's about to close a chapter, a door that was left open. Okay, that was, it's just like there was no closure. There's a big question mark between the two of you here. Oh wow, definitely closure. Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. The Ten of Swords comes, you know, all those swords are backstabbed, right? There can be betrayal. But you can't go to the Eleven of Swords. That's the beauty of the Ten of Swords. It's time for you to rise up. It's time for both of you to rise up and start again anew. 
can be with the same person, can be this is already over. Page of one with the Ten of Swords, especially I was looking at it's like a period. Like there could be a period right now. Like this is it. Like someone is gonna talk to you, it's like this is over. Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. Because they can't take it anymore. Yeah? But this is also the closure that we were talking about. Someone here felt like they gave already enough. Okay, and that's enough basically. Ten of Swords is like, oh, I, I gave it all and this is what I got and this is over. Five of Pentacles. This is a slow dragging um, ending. A slow dragging closure. Both are suffering right now the loss. It ended and then two of you right now is one, not communicating and suffering in silence, suffering and not knowing because it could have just ended fast. Like the Ten of Swords, it could have just like BAM. And then both of you were clueless. What happened? What just happened? They don't know. You don't know. Let me see here. But someone here was feeling just tired with the Ten of Swords. That's very tired. Eight of Cups. No communication. Someone left and like, ah, oh, you know, like this is how this person is feeling. I need to walk away from this. I need to get out. Someone doesn't even want to be in that Five of Pentacles. Meaning he's just like, yeah, I know we're not talking. I know we're not, um, you know, opening up to each other. Even I will separate myself from separation. You see me? Like they're separating themselves to another separation. Okay. Like someone who wants to be left alone. Like, I don't want to deal with this right now, you know? Someone doesn't want to deal with this. King of Pentacles. Can be a Capricorn. Someone here was just mainly focused at work, and this is what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands. If someone here is just like, I'd rather take care of myself with the King of Pentacles, with my work, with my business. Because if you're the fire sign, you're approaching that person, Knight of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. This whole thing of a mess was well coordinated. This was what it's supposed to happen. Once you get the Wheel of Fortune, this is the doom gloom of everything that is down, right? It was tragic. Now you can ask, so why do you feel happy with such a tragic? Because as your final card with the Wheel of Fortune, your misfortune will become Mr. Fortune. This is, you know, I mean, if we see in a chart, you know, there are charts where it digs you deep only to rise up, okay? Sometimes it's called a curse. I'm not gonna go into it, okay? But, you know, it's like because it's a little bit uh, complicated things for me to oh, just open. It's not a curse. Some people call it, but it's not. Um, this is the kind of energy that I'm feeling here. No, it's not like a, you know, uh, like juju curse. It's a placement in a chart. You understand? That relationship had to go south first. Someone had to realize the value of the relationship, basically. Someone is coming around. Something good is about to come now. You can only be at the will of fortune on the low, and then an unexpected turn of events will shift this, this energy now. You know, when people say it's like, oh, you know, I, I was, you know, sorry, um, I've seen this, you know, people, it's like, oh, I only have $5 in my life, bam, billionaire, right? You know, it's like, oh, I didn't have, um, you know, it's like, I, I, you know, some people lost their food, Olympian, you understand me? Oh, I can't see. Bam, the best painter. You understand me? Out of all the suffering and in silence and feeling lost, you're about to get something from the universe that is transformative or that's already transformed that is gonna go amazing. All right? So I'm not sure we're coding that. That's how the Wheel of Fortune works, okay? 
Thank you very much, guys, for watching Leos. I'm going to go from Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, Virgo, and the Extended. I'll finish this spread first. And then make sure you hit the bell because the bell, you can ring my bell. No, <laughs> because if you ring the bell on Wednesday, we're going to be announcing something big and you will totally get a bang out of it. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Spins. From no communication, someone reaches out. Someone returns with a fortunate person or the magician will offer love. Manifestation now of love. Before it was dream, there's nothing. Leo's dealing with a Leo. Okay. Leo's dealing with a Leo. 